it's Chuck the Bartender, and I'm back. Uh, I know I made my introductory video in this outfit, but I'm shooting a bunch of videos at one time, and I don't care. So this ep this episode, or whatever, this video is all about your bartending kit, your bartending essentials. If you want to work private events, um, you're going to need to bring your own equipment. They supply the booze, the ice, and the mixes, and all the stuff you need to make drinks, but you have to supply... Uh, they also supply the glassware. You have to bring your own equipment, okay? So I have my own bartending kit, and I'm going to show you what you're going to need in your own bartending kit all the time. I just got an email today actually inquiring um, me to do private events this, this summer from June to July, weekly events, and I'm so fucking excited. I can't even stand it. Um, and yes, I am certified. I have my... Again, blocking out my last name, I have my certificate, I finished school, and I am serve safe certified. I'm going to laminate this little bitch when I got time, but I am serve safe certified, and this is what you need to be a bartender. So, for your kit, I bought mine at my school. I went to Drink Master, it is in Boston, they have them in Framingham, Worcester, and Boston. I will put the link below if you're in the Massachusetts area. It is the best school in, in Massachusetts that you could go to and hope to go to. I swear to God. They sold these kits there, so that's why I bought them, because I knew it was top-of-the-line stuff. And uh, it was easier than Googling it and buying it. I purchased this kit for $60, and it was totally worth it. It is ventilated on the sides, as you can see. So if you put wet... Say your measuring cup and your shaking cups are still wet. You put them in here. They're not going to rust. They're not going to get moldy. It'll just dry. That's what's so great about having a ventilated bag. You need to have a ventilated bag. So inside, it came with a laminated drink list and how to make all of the drinks. I make my own flashcards just to help me a bit. Um, shit. It came with 12 of these uh, pouring the liquid liquor pours or stouts. These are the best kind I've dealt with. They have a little thing here so air can go through so when you're pouring it's a nice fluid pour that's not just coming like bleh, 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 bleh. you gotta know how to pour. That's what I'm also gonna teach you here is how to pour correctly. Um, also, I mean they teach you that in school as well but I got 12 of these. They fell out a bit. These also, when you're at home practicing, these fit in any size bottle. So I have a water bottle here. They fit in any size bottle, as you can see. See? Fits perfectly. And they don't come off either, which is good. Depending on the liquor bottle, it will not come off. That's why those ones, I feel, are the best ones. These are the best pours that I've worked with. That's why I have a ton of them. I came with 12. They all fucking fell out. Um, an ice scooper. Uh, it still has a price tag on it. Stainless steel ice scooper will never rust. This is super critical. You never, ever, 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 under any circumstances, put a glass directly in ice. You never do that. You can break the glass which is big no-no, and if you break glass in ice, just take the grenadine and make a big X so no one knows to use that ice, but you always use an ice scooper, no matter fucking what. I'll take two highball glasses and my fingers like this, and they'll be like, ice them up, and I'll just go, whoop, whoop. you're done. That's it. Always have an ice scooper. Very important. The next three things are the most important, to me at least, because it's my favorite thing to do. Shaking drinks is my favorite thing. I get my element, I get my jam. So you get a pint glass, a small shaker, and a big shaker. And you stack them in together like this. That's how they always go when you're putting them away. So you, need, you use, when you're making a Long Island in a pint glass, you just kind of put it on here, do a tap, and shake this way. You always want the shaker going out this way. You never want to shake this way. It could f all fall out and just be terrible. You want to shake with two hands. With the small one, I can normally shake with one hand. And when I shake, I like to dance a little bit, you know, have a little fun, get into it, smile all the time, check out the surroundings, see what's going on. That's how I like to do it. 
Um, we'll talk about that in another video on mixing drinks when we're shaking. So, oh, I have put it in the wrong way. So you always put the pint glass in the small shaker and the small shaker into the big shaker. And then you get a measurer. These are called jiggers. J-I-G-G-E-R. Jiggers. This is for measuring if you're not very good at pouring yet and you need a little bit of help or you want precise measurements. Some places will make you use a jigger at all times. Some places won't. This is the half ounce side and then this side is a full ounce. The most amount of booze I can go into a drink at one time is two and a half ounces and that's the most amount of liquor someone can have in front of them at one time. So a martini, that's two and a half ounces. That's the max amount of liquor. So someone had a martini and someone came in and was like, hey, I want a round of shots for everybody. That person cannot have that shot until they have finished that drink. So with that, you'd have two of these, one of these. That's how you would measure it. So there you go. We're going to talk about laws like that at some point. Also got a cutting board. Um, once I clean this, when I clean this off and the serrated knife, I will be doing a fruit cutting demonstration on how to correctly cut uh, garnishes. It also came with this serrated knife, which is, they said, one of the sharpest knives they've ever worked with. I've worked with it when they taught us the proper cutting techniques, and this thing is super sharp. So make sure it's always in its little house, I don't know, its case. I call it house. So board, a cutting board, serrated knife, always important. Strainer. Use this when you're making shooters or martinis, daiquiris, everything. This is just to strain the ice out, out of the shaker. And the proper way to hold it is you have it like this, fingers like this, put it on top, and then you can hold it like this. And then just kind of, and I like to do a nice pour like that, so you get a, a strainer. Your mixing spoon. Usually they don't have this little stopper at the end because when you put all your stuff together like this, normally you'd be able to put your spoon in here, but you can't because it's got this stopper at the end. But this is a very important thing for when you're making martinis because you stir them, you do not shake them. J think James Bond style. Stirred. Well, he likes them shaken, not stirred. Okay, but stir you stir them, you don't shake them. So this is just a stirring spoon. You put it in your shaker and you stir around like this. This is also important. This is also important for layering drinks. So if you had shots and you're making a mind eraser, you would do the Kahlua over the side of the spoon, then layer on top of it the Baileys, and then on top of it the Amaretto. So you've got a nice layered drink. Also to make snake bites, which if you don't know is half Angry Orchard or half Hard Cider, and the top is Guinness. So you would layer the Guinness on top using this spoon. That's how you layer drinks. Also came with this snazzy wine bottle opener. Has a lip on the side. This comes down. Also has a knife on the end so you can get the um, foil and all the shit off of it before you open it. This you put in at a 45 degree angle. You twist until there's one, a little, like one screw left. Put this down on, on the side of the bottle and just pull. This is one of the easier bottle openers I've worked with because I used to do wine tastings and I always had to have a wine opener on me. It also comes with a bottle opener. Very standard. Always need this. You can never serve a beer or anything in a bottle unopened. You can never serve it unopened. It always has to be opened and you can never give the patron or the guest the cap because they could put it back on the bottle, take it with them, and you don't want that because you're legally liable. So you always, always serve it without a top. So that was everything that came in the kit, plus uh, a paper on what comes in the kit, plus this stand bag. So that's everything you need. So remember, cutting board, serrated knife, wine bottle opener, regular bottle opener, stirring spoon, Strainer, small, big, and pint glass. Small and big shaker glass, pint glass, jigger, ice scooper, and your bottle pours, your liquor pours, and a drink menu, depending on where you are. So that's what you need every time to be a bartender. So if I 
since I got inquired to do my own bartending events, I would just take this with me. And they supply me with the ice, the booze, the mixers, everything. So I'm going to go over that in another video. So that's just, that's basically all you need to be a bartender when you're doing your own events. That's what you need. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Um, I always like to have a hand towel on me too. I put it on my belt so in case I gotta wipe my hands off really quick or I gotta wipe off a bottle or something. Just really quick. Always have a towel. We call them linens in the biz. But just always have a hand towel too. I don't have one in my kit yet, but I will just always have a hand towel. It's very helpful. It always helps at any time. Usually they'll be at the bar. But if you're going and you're working an event, just bring it with you because you don't know what they're gonna have. So, and always talk to them. Ask them what they're going to have. Ask them what kind of drinks you want them to make, uh, you, they want you to make. So you know what kind of booze that you need, what you need them to get you, and what they want served. Always ask those questions. We're going to talk about that in another video, but hopefully this was helpful. I'll list everything below. Leave me a comment, ask it for, with requests, any questions that you have, anything you want to know. Any questions you have about what I've just talked about, and I will see you in my next video. Alright, this is Chuck the Bartender signing off. Bye, guys.